Government bailout for restaurants may be backfiring. That's because in many cases, unemployment pays more. Today on your side, Stephanie Harris is looking into the issue with what's really become conflicting government programs. That's right, Anita. Both initiatives were meant to help people. One of them gives extra money to those who are out of work due to the COVID shutdown, and the other gives loans to struggling small businesses. In the case of some businesses, restaurants in particular, there is a big glitch. It's a dirty job, hot, stressful, hard on the feet. That's why the owners of the Dirty Buffalo restaurants don't blame their furloughed workers for taking a better gig from the government. We had the opportunity to stay at home and have a little vacation and collect a paycheck and not have to work. And it's a hard industry to work in, so I get it. Um, I would probably rather, rather stay at home too. Stephanie Gilbert and her husband own three restaurants in Hampton Roads. Before COVID-19, they employed 198 people. On March 18th, they laid off 168. We have offered jobs back to 95% um, of those people. But only 68 said yes. Some say they don't feel safe yet returning to work, while others admit the increased benefits they're getting provided under the CARES Act puts more money in their pockets. Guaranteeing people an additional $600 a week in unemployment insurance through the end or, or mid-July, I think was kind of overstepping. Gilbert must have a full staff, 198 employees back by mid-June, or she'll have to repay that paycheck protection loan. But those unemployment benefits are guaranteed well past that date, July 31st. I asked Senator Tim Kaine about this conflict of government programs. Both programs are good and both programs are helping people. But you point out there can be a little bit of a clash between them. He said he's raised the disparity with the Small Business Administration. I would like uh, to have these businesses be able to use the funds to get through this hard time and then have the loans converted into a grant if they can reassemble their payroll at the end of this emergency. And he believes that should be at some reasonable time after those extra unemployment benefits end. Meantime, if you're looking for work, Dirty Buffalo is looking to hire 100 people. Stephanie Harris, 10 on your side.